like driving the caddy well we're now currently on the road um, we're sitting at about 80 k's an hour it's uh, very 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 smooth what is the whole uh, the whole reason for building an e-caddy from EPVA? well we would like uh, more vehicles to obviously be going electric and uh, in Africa we unfortunately don't have too many um, suppliers of electric vehicles so we've taken an existing caddy and we've modified it and made it electric it's got all the features you, you would normally have with your e-caddy nothing changes all your safety features airbags everything remains stock standard this is a manual um, electric so it's it's actually got gears the reason why we got gears is basically to drop the rpm of the motor um, so that we get more range out of out of uh, the battery pack and the other thing is um, it, it, the, the electric motors curve torque is better at lower rpm so it's always nice to have that power in any type of gear you'd, you'd like There's two models we do. Um, we've got uh, the 23 kilowatt hour battery pack and uh, the 55 kilowatt hour battery pack. So on the 23 kilowatt hour, we are able to do about uh, anything from 90 to 110 kilometers range. And uh, on the 55, we can go up to 300 kilometer range. The cost to do that 300 kilometers will be about 50 rand, so from uh, sort of Nelspreit to Johannesburg will cost you about 50 rand, as opposed to four, five hundred rand on a very economical vehicle. We've been in development now probably for two years. Uh, we've had to wait for a couple of components and do some vigorous testing, um, but we're quite happy now with uh, this build to be able to put it into production and it's basically now a touch of a button from a manufacturer's point of view to be able to um, get some more units out there. So we're looking forward to taking some normally aspirated motors and uh, transforming them into fully electric vehicles.